It's my feel-good breakfast show. Thank you so much, Ewan. Well, over to Pilani Dladla, a young bookworm that operates from the streets of Johannesburg. What, what many of us don't know, even though this story went viral on social media, is that Pilani has since moved on to bigger and brighter things. Tenji's got the story and she met up with this young pavement bookworm. Last year, Joe Burgers were inspired by the story of Pilani Dladla, a recovering addict who sells old books at busy intersections to make an honest living. The pavement bookworm has since moved on to share his love of books with other youths. Pilani, when we last spoke, we were sitting on the corner of Glen Eagles and Barry Herzog and you were selling your books. You've certainly come a long way. What are you getting up to? Since our last interview, a lot have happened. My book is going to be published next week. I've got a foundation that just got launched on a National Book Day and I've got a new readers club in KZN. So we're working and we're growing in numbers and we're touching more lives and getting more people reading, making change, real change. I know life has its challenges. What are some of the difficulties that you're still facing to this day? Other challenges is this. This is the other challenge. I was trying to talk other guys to telling them about dangers of drug addiction. I think maybe they thought that's how I think I'm better than them because I managed to quit drugs. So they just turned violently and uh, this was the result, getting beaten up. So yeah, we do face a lot of challenges, but uh, fortunately there are a lot of people who are also willing to help. That Busani Ngawini is the guy who, who made it happen, who edited my book. He's, he's working on it right now. So. They are very helpful, really. Pilani received his first store of books as inheritance following the passing of his mother's employer. He used self-help books to kick his drug addiction and turned to his small business venture to sustain himself. As part of Youth Day celebrations, Pilani joined a band of other motivational speakers to share their stories of hardship and success. We do a lot of motivation and stuff. Well, if you can dream it, you can live it. Nothing happens when you don't dream about it. I always say to Philip and I say to everybody, I've managed to own my own time. And that's a very important thing to me. I want to own my own time. Today I wanted to share my story with younger people and show them, show them that making choices helps you change your life. And that if you make the right choices, you can put yourself in a good position to become extraordinary and contribute to the wider South Africa, yourself and the people that you care about. And what are your words of encouragement to other young people? I won't give them words of encouragement. I'll encourage them by example. I'll, I'll, I'll just tell South Africa to just keep on following the story of the pavement bookworm. They know where I'm from and I'm sure they're going to be surprised of where I'm heading. From street dweller to author and motivational speaker, Pilani continues to prove Dr. Zeus's words. The more you read, the more you will know. The more you learn, the more places you will go.